You look great. Thank you. Wow. Oh, nice to see you. <laughs> this Please is a surprise. Come in. Well, yes, it's a surprise for me, too, being here in Pine Valley. I mean, I'm here with Junior and Adams until we get a few things straightened out, and uh, then I'm just headed back home. Oh, no. Listen, I, I hope I see you again. No, oh, I, I, I would love to. I'm sure we will. I mean, Junior would love to see Sammy. How, how are the kids? Sammy's great. Maddie's fine, too. Oh, um, good. Thanks. Um, listen, is Brooke here? i got to speak to her before she goes to the courthouse. Oh, I'm sorry, you, you can't see her. Why not? It'll work, Dad. I know it will. I can't do it. You've got to. I don't have any other options. He's due in court in 15 minutes. Dad, it's one thing to ask your father to lie for you, but this... I represent the husband. I know what I'm asking you to do, Dad, and I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice. I'm not asking you to do this for me. I'm asking you to do it for Jamie, because you are my only hope. I'm begging you. We're talking about my son's life here. Just give me the chance to get him back. What if the question is? We are the experts. Exactly. Right? Oh, come on, come on. If this thing drags on, the DA will bring in his own experts. You Fine. Know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I just don't... I don't think you've explored all the legal avenues, Dad. Legal schmeagle. I mean, what, you want to sacrifice Jamie to avoid breaking a rule? I didn't say that. Well, that's what's going to happen. At first, Allie, no. Now, hold Jamie. on, Dad. Allie Doyle committed oh. a serious mistake. Oh, Jamie did not make okay. a mistake. All right, all right. What are we going to do? Not today? his fault. Yeah. He's my boy. You wait until he comes to you someday and asks you to do something like this. I'll say yes. And so will you. Look, I can't have you involved in this. Dad, it's too late. I'm, I'm already involved. Come on. All right, all right, but we'll do it my way. Absolutely. And I just hope to God we don't screw it up. You're asking me why you can't see Brooke? Yeah. I mean, it's not a difficult question, is it? No, no, it's a very simple question, and it has a very simple answer. Brooke is sick. Oh, how serious? We don't know. She's sick, man. She was fine yesterday when I talked to her. Well, oh, I know. That that's the way these things happen sometimes, you know? What things? The flu. The fl uh, that's what she has, the flu? Well, something, must be something very much like that, you know? It's fever, chills, general pains, Oh, aches. wow, I'm sorry. Yo, so she. <laughs> yeah. What's she gonna do about the trial? I don't know. I mean, if she can't make it, I mean, what is she gonna do? That's hard to say. Are you okay? You're not afraid to be around? No, no, I, I'm, I'm fine. I've had my shots. Well, good, good. I have too. Uh, listen, I'm just going to go upstairs just to see her. Have Trevor and Belinda call. No, really, you really shouldn't go up there. I'll be fine. No, 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 really. I mean, you know, uh, what about your kids? You don't want to take the bug home to them, do you? No, never thought of that. Well, and, and besides, we don't really even know. If it's the flu, it could be one of those terrible viruses or, or some sort of incredible, hideous infection that takes over whole villages, you know? Who knows? But better safe Sexy. than sorry. Edmund? We've known each other a long time, haven't we? Yes, we have. And I've always considered you a fine woman, full of principle, values. Thank you very much, Edmund. Why am I getting this feeling I'm getting the pigeon hollow shuffle? Excuse me? <laughs> what deep, dark secret are you hiding from me? Dad, I know this is risky, and I'm sorry. But... But it's the only way I could come up with to keep Jamie's life from going down the tubes until I can get Brooke back. Okay, okay, but we need to concentrate. I'm just not used to coloring outside the lines. I mean, we're gonna have to do this right. We won't help anybody if we get found out. Meaning? Well, meaning is it's a bit more complex than you might think. Wait a minute, you having second thoughts? No, no, no. It's just it's, it's not Tad, we're easy. in, and we're going to stay in. What's so complex? All well, you got to do is say the forms to fill out. We've got to uh, create some records, we right? We have test results to concoct. Yeah. Where the devil are we going to get a body? A body?
we're going to need a living, breathing person. We're going to need somebody bay. who can pretend to be Brooke. I thought about that. I got it nailed. You won't do. No, I'm not talking about me. I, uh, I called someone else. I got your call about the job, Ted. WRCW, right? I got the weather person gig. Oh, this is so cool. I'm going to be such a good forecaster. You just wait. There's highs, there's lows, there's dry lines, there's wet lines, there's fronts, there's rain events, there's wind events. Oh, no, personalized, personalized, personalized. Don't you worry. I'm going to make those big boys forget there ever was a Willard Scott. Thank you so much. Kelsey, this isn't about doing the weather at WRCW. Oh. Okay. Would that be more like an uh-oh? It would. Oh, boy. This sounds heavy. Oh, very. What is it? We're having an emergency family crisis. Oh. Well, why didn't you say so? I'm here, at your disposal. Hope we don't all regret this someday. Should I be scared? No. Look, I'll uh, fill you in the details of my office, all right? We need to be authentic. Well, that would be me. Thanks, Kel. Thank you, everybody. All right, let's go. Typhoid Mary. And who would Typhoid Mary be? Oh, interesting lady. Well, I think it's time for me to go and be creative with those test results. Just a minute. I just want you to know something. I realize how big this is. This thing I'm asking you to do. I understand the stakes. It yeah, will so do I. Except I'm not talking about Brooke or Jamie. I'm talking about you and Jake. If anything goes wrong, Allie won't be the only person on that unemployment line. <laughs> Boy, you still have that old meter in there, don't you? What meter's that, Dixie? You know, the one that goes off whenever old Dixie needs a lift? Or a quick shoulder to cry on? A quick joke? You know, being around you's always been very, very good for my soul. Same here. Do you remember all of the war stories you and I used to share about Ted and Brooke? Yeah, those were some sessions. Yes, they certainly were. You have no idea if I hadn't had you to talk to. Likewise. I think my fingernails were getting pretty short. Come on, Dixie. You could have hung on by yourself. There was steel under that peaches and cream. Well, I don't know about that, and I certainly didn't feel like it back then. I felt like you were just, you were just giving me so much hope, you know, when I was ready to, to throw in the towel. You mean Tad marrying Brooke when he should have married you and she should have married me? <laughs> Things got a little screwed up. Royally! I remember something that you said, though. It made, me, made it so much easier. What's that? You came in and you said, well, isn't this nice? We both ran into two people <laughs> that we love. <laughs> Having returned from their honeymoon, with each other. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's funny now. Yes, but it wasn't back then, that's for sure. I would have disintegrated if you hadn't kept hatching me up. I would have drowned in my own self-pity if you hadn't been there. Just keep me afloat. Well, we'll be life rafts forever. Forever. Yeah, but there's that meter that you keep telling me about that makes me pick things up. What's really going on, Dixie? Going on? Dixie. Edmund, all I know is that Brooke is sick and she cannot be disturbed. That's it. And I'm sure that she appreciates your concern, and I will tell her that you stop by as Dimitri. soon as she wakes up. Dimitri, Dimitri, what? Dimitri, what? Dimitri, Dimitri, he spent the night. He said he spent the night, all night, with Brooke, didn't he? Uh, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, everybody else is under a pile of rubble at holidays. He's here pitching his plan. Plan? What, what plan? Oh, Dimitri had everybody fooled. I'm not following you. Yeah, he was so reformed. Edmund, I, I... One minute, she's in court, battling to save her neck. And then she spends one night with Dimitri, and all of a sudden she wakes up with the flu. People do get sick. Dixie, I want you to tell me something. 
And I want you to tell me the truth. Did Dimitri tell you not to let me go upstairs and see her? No. I promised Tad I wouldn't let anybody see Brooke. Tad? And I take my promises very seriously. All right, so if you want to get by me, you're going to have to go whack me with the two by four. <laughs> Tad and Dimitri? I'm, I'm sorry. What's going on? I don't, I'm sorry. Well, well, I'm not going to pick up a two by four and hit you with it. Oh, of course it's not. Jury can't read the papers anyway. Trevor, with that screaming from every newsstand on every corner, they don't have to read it. All they have to do is see that headline. You know, it might work in our favor, the, the, the press coming down on the innocent victim and everything. Besides, the jurors don't like to spend all this time weighing a case when there's a foregone conclusion. Mm, you have a point there. But McLean's... But office, McLean, get... we're going to kick his butt. How's your arm anyway? Oh... It's much better. I'll probably take this sling off before court. Dad, if someone were to come up to me and threaten that I would never see you or Jake again, I would do what you're doing. Well, there's only one difference. I'm not jeopardizing my professional career. And even if I was, I don't save lives for a living. You do. What you do matters a lot. Being a parent matters just as much. Strange, isn't it? You're the one that taught me to play by the rules. Gave me principles. And here I am asking you to compromise yours by doing something like this. Oh, I don't know. I think I'd be compromising my principles if I didn't. Look, look, Tan. I wish Brooke had found some other way of trying to deal with the problems. So do I. Right, but she didn't. Now Jamie's at risk. We're doing it for Jamie. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Something were to happen to that little fellow, I would never forgive myself, knowing that I could have prevented it. Thank you. We're in this together. You're my son. What affects you affects me. Yeah, but look, you'd lay down your life for your son, wouldn't you? Of course. I would too. I don't think I'll ever be able to thank you enough. I know I never have. We don't stand together in this tough times. Might as well pack it in. Besides, you know, who knows? If we get really lucky, we might even pull it off. 